Look at that. An owl or something, woodpecker, or something. How many years ago was this standing and that was his home? How many generations of his bloodline have passed since that was his home? Is it still his home? Way up here, look at this. There is the Trogdon High Trail. Uh, airplane flat right around the corner. Airplane flat right there, actually. You drop down off airplane flat and catch the Trogdon High Trail. And it takes you all the way back. A lot of people think it stops at Fish Fork, but it don't. It, I mean, Iron Fork. It doesn't. It picks up on the other side and continues on to Fish Fork. It drops down just north of Fish Fork, just around the corner. Derek and I did that trail. I'll put a link to that in the details below this one, if I remember. If not, and you want to see it, uh, mention it to me or look up Trogdon High Trail, I believe it's named. We were way up above it. But look, I'm even with it right now. And I'm going higher. I want to get higher. I'm going to hit the top of this ridge, look around, start back down. It's taking longer than I thought. And those guys, it's going to take us three hours to get out of here. And those guys got a two and a half hour drive home. So, they wanted to get out of here by nine. Ooh, look at that quartz on the top of that rock. Look at that. Oh, can't move it. If nothing else, I've answered one question that's always been in my mind while walking through this area, and it's what's on the top of that flat. Is it man-made? It looks, it looks, I could be way wrong, but it looks like possibly part of the old trail where they brought the burrows up to go to Stanley Miller. Looks like they come up through there, look. Looks like they come up through there somehow. Hit that. Possibly switch back right there. Coming back right across there. It's, it's long gone if it was. But that's what it looks like. This is rad. Look at this. Let's see if I can find the uh, Trogdon Trail. Okay, there's a real, though. The sketchiest part of the Trogdon Trail is that right there. You come across there, these are pretty easy. Pretty easy. Where it's washed out, coming down. But 
the one over there by that white rock you step you start sliding 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 and look at that there's no stopping you there is no stopping you till you hit right there and then it's a, just a drop of about 200 feet you got a bobsled ride when Derek and I did it we started to walk and we were going down real quick so we were running running across at a 45 degree angle shooting for that gap in the top two bushes there and as soon as we got close we just let off the running and started going with the slide then stepped off on the trail you got to do the same thing over there but it's not as bad and then over here you're just hanging on some rocks and things but it's pretty stable you go around and you come down you come down around the corner by that far 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 set to pine trees back there Iron Mountain I want to do that crest down but when you get down to right in there you got to go back up it sucks Look at this. This has been cut. This has been cut. These have been cut. That brown is poison oak mixed in with this. That's up there. Pop turret wrapper. It's so old, it just falls apart. I don't see any way around this. And I think since they cut it, it's grown quite a bit because it's strong. Yeah, this might be it. This might be it. I don't time. I gotta get back. That sucks. Damn. Looks like it might open up on the other side of this. Open up. Time's up.
Look at that. I can get up. I can get up right there off the trail onto that ridge. Fairly easy, it looks like. Something's crawling down my back. Fill up this tree. Oh, what is that? Panic mode. A caterpillar. <laughs> it's a cool view, though. The view you're looking at here is when you come around from the bridge to nowhere. The view you're looking at here is when you come around from the bridge to nowhere. That would be back way off over there. You come back, you got that one stretch where you're up above the river, and then right there you drop down into the river, down in it, and right there's where you have to come back up. Um, that's what you're looking at from here. So over there would be that little valley of the falls where you go up that little valley and there's small falls. Up there would be the uh, dried waterfall, the ancient waterfall above the bridge to nowhere. And up there would be airplane flat, Trogden Trail, the high trail. And up there there's another trail. It looks, I don't know what that one is, or if there's actually a name for it, or if it's just a well walked on game trail, I don't know, but it does look like it's an old trail. I just never made it that high on that particular mountain. Iron Mountain, I mean, Rattlesnake Peak. Um, and uh, East Fork River, way up above it. I'm going to pick some wild onions on the way down, go down and make breakfast. But let me show you what it looks like on the far side. There you go. There's that flat a lot of people try to climb up to look and see what's up there because it looks like there's something. If there is, it's, it's gone. It's well over. It's grown way over. Could possibly some prospects back there, but I never saw any mention of it in the history books. I thought I passed one on the way up here, but it looks like it's collapsed. How far in they got, we'll never know. But that's my camp down there. Let me zoom in. That's center, poncho shelter. That's mine. Uh... That would probably be, I'm not sure who's standing there. Hector, that's probably Hector. Yeah. Z packs on the left. My trails go light. Poncho tarp in the center. Polish Lufana. Um, poncho tarps. Teepee on the right. Getting down is a whole different ball game.
clearly a man-made board. And those rocks are stacked here. And they're also by man. And this is not too far from where that, that possible prospect was. So I, I believe it was, it was a prospect. Look at that. Might have even been a mine at one time. Look at that. How cool is that? Coming up, I came up on the other side of this ridge. It looks like I'm funneling down into a, a trap. It's a trap. Um, Bushway. Oh no, I can get around that rock. It's a trap. Every little step you take is fragile. <laughs> Everything you do just makes you slide. That rock, okay, that rock thing. That's not too far where I have to start down again. Right up here is that. I believe it was a prospect. Not sure though. Looks like they started digging. I don't know how far back they got. But if they stopped, it's probably because they didn't find anything worth looking, continuing. be remains of the old cabin probably the guy who worked on these trails there'd be his doorway facing that way I wouldn't like that looming above my cabin but the fireplace used to be here it's long gone here's a piece of the bed spring still here fire fireplace used to be right here but people were using it right under this tree so I believe it was the forestry that came in here with sledgehammers and knocked it out there's pieces of it down below Here's the far wall that you see from a, maybe this was just a dynamite shack, but there's a bed spring, so it makes me believe it was a cabin. This would have been his porch. This would have been his wall. Pipe leading out for, probably for a spring above. And this was his view. This would be an incredible view. This view right here looks like from Backpacker Dave's shelter upriver. It's almost an identical mirror image. Red. Help me get my feet back on the ground. Just wrestle, making some hash browns. Check that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> With his homemade spatula, actually camp made. He carved that here. Yeah. And he's got his uh, pancake over there. I got some uh, pepper bacon and some spam Anderson. Put some eggs on there. Those are for my sister's chickens. Eating it with my little Coleman. This is a cool set. That nest in there and then clicks in there. 
Uh, it's given me a friend, a friend of mine sent it to me recently. So, right above that boulder up there is where I got caught up in that brush. Where I made my mistake is next time when I come up through that green, that last green before I hit that ledge, that little sawtooth there, the bush, I'll come over and follow it this way and hit that rock face. Boom, I'm there. Next time, I'll be back. My goal is that, that yucca. Up there, that yucca right there. Maybe a tree. Just looks like a yucca from here. And that one there is a yucca for sure. Little Texas Pete to the rescue. <laughs> That's bannock bread. That's not a uh, pancake. It's bannock bread he made. Look at that. I'm just on there somewhere to eat up. In Joseph's pocket, he's got a trash bag. I've got a trash bag. He's got a trash bag. We we'll pay for our sell our rent on the way out. Um, these aren't ours. A vodka bottle, an old soda bottle. That little can is mine. The sterno's not. So we're already starting. I'll show you these bags. We get out of here. This is just on the trail. This is not off looking for the trash. This is just stuff we're gonna pass on the way. So we'll see how much we got. Starting off with three bags. Here's where Joseph was. Uh, there's where I was. There's where Hector was. Z packs. My trails. Polish Lufana. Uh, Army poncho. Two of them. Teepee. Well, here's Joseph Russell. He's got his bag of trash. And added to one, two, three, four, five more. We got that just from the bridge to nowhere out. A lot of trash, huh? Yes. And a brand new pair of Basque shoes, boots, brand new pair. And uh, an an another single shoe. What's that other single shoe? And one or something like that. But uh, and the sole. Look at that. So we paid our rent for the night.